welcome to another session of our english grammar class today students we are going to do chapter number 5 present perfect tense so let's begin our journey of knowledge and learning welcome to the grammar session in the previous lessons we learned about different tenses like simple present tense present continuous simple past tense past continuous simple future today we'll start a new tense called the present perfect tense so let's begin Now, children, present perfect tense is the first of the advanced tenses. It is advanced not only in terms of grammar but also in the way we think about tenses. The present perfect connects the past and the present because the result of the past action is felt in the present, or we can say in other words, this tense is a mixture of present and past. it always implies a strong connection with the present though action took place in the past now we should know that the present perfect verb is formed with have or has plus past participle what is past participle children past participle is the third form of the verb like sung rung hung played boarded etc now the form will be subject plus have or has plus the verb 3 example for he she and it we will use has and if the subject is i you we or they then have should be used let's look at some of the sentences i have written some notes so here the subject is i plus have plus the third form of the verb written which is the verb 1 verb 1 of written is write next sentence we have boarded the bus here the subject is we plus have plus boarded boarded is the third form of the verb board you have done a good job they have sung a song john has worn a new coat here the subject is john which is a name of the person plus has plus the third form of the verb he has rung the bell she has rung the bell children let us understand the present perfect tense on the timeline present perfect indicates something happened in the past we don't know when it had happened we just know it happened sometime in the past between the day you were born until now for an example we can say i have been to england so here the event of visiting england took place somewhere between the day when the speaker was born till the present time now there are few more situation where we can use the present perfect tense the present perfect tense connects the past and the present because the result of the past action is felt in the present let us see the examples let us enjoy exams have postponed here the event of postponing the exam had already taken place due to this event the result is the children want to enjoy now he has done his job now it's our turn another way this tense also expresses an action that had happened at least once in the speaker's experience that means any event which has taken place at least once in the speaker the person who is speaking in his lifetime or it can be more than one time for example i have been to france second one he has spoken to her three times this week the next it expresses an action that began in the past and is continuing at the time of speaking in the present here we will use a special term since in the sentence so let us see the example she has worked here since april jodhpur has changed since 1980 the next guy present perfect tense expresses an action completed in the immediate past with the adverb just between has and the past participle here as in the previous example we studied since is used here just will be used so let us see how we can use this tense present perfect tense in the examples our team has just won the game 
I have just arrived. Let me take some rest. Now children, let us look and learn the forms of the present perfect tense. So, as we usually study the three different kind of forms, that is affirmative, negative and question. In affirmative, I have gone. Here the subject is I. Have is the auxiliary verb which we are supposed to use and gone is the third form or the past participle form of the verb. You have gone. They have gone. We have gone. He has gone. So with he and she has should be used. Now let us look at the negative kind. I haven't gone. You haven't gone. They haven't gone. We haven't gone. He hasn't gone. She hasn't gone. Now the last kind, the question types. Have I gone? Here, one thing is very clear that the auxiliary verb should take the first place followed by the subject. Have I gone? You have, have you gone? Have they gone? Have we gone? Has he gone? Has she gone? So children, that's all for today's session. Hope you have understood the topic.